One of the best ways to apply textures to your images in Photoshop is through the use of smart objects. Smart objects give you a lot of flexibility and they allow you to do things like replace the photo after the fact, which is what I'm going to show you here. I'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to go up to File Place. When you use File Place, it automatically adds your layer as a smart object. I'm going to select an image. Resize it real quickly. And click that checkbox at the top change my blending mode and I'm just going to add a really quick mask so I have my texture added to my image but what if I'm not quite sold on this particular texture with this photograph because it's a smart object, then I can replace this photo seamlessly. All I have to do is right click over here on the layer, make sure it's in this blank area off to the right, go to replace contents, select a different image, and it's automatically replaced. Now one of the things about the presets inside of the Nicolzi store is that each preset pack has each photo or each texture sized identically. So when you do things like replace the photos using smart objects, you won't have to do any resizing to your image. However, if you'd like to add a texture from a different preset pack that may have a different aspect ratio or from a completely different texture altogether, then there's a few things that you'll want to do. First, if you have a layer mask added, you want to make sure that you click this little link icon in between. What that link does is it tells Photoshop that when I resize any of these, then they stay together. I'll go ahead and add a texture with a different aspect ratio so you can actually see what I'm referring to. I'm going to right click, go to replace contents, and this time I'm going to go over to the artistic photo textures. And double click on one of them. Now you can see that there's a little bit of space at the top and the bottom, and I need to resize this photo just so it fits. But if I were to resize the photo, it would also resize the mask. That's why we remove that link right here in the middle. So I'm going to click on that thumbnail and go to Command T, hold my Option key down, and then drag it so it snaps to the top. And then click that checkbox. And I can just keep doing this over and over until I find a texture that I like with my image.